You're the 10th richest to Forbes. man in the world. 10th, maybe it's, but think about that. There's 7 billion people. That means there's 6 billion, 999 million, <laughs> 990,000 people that are not at my level. In today's video, I will explore the fascinating world of wealth and power. The majority of the world's wealth is reserved for the 1% of the 1%. From their jaw-dropping fortunes to their shocking connections and extravagant lifestyles, I will take you on a journey inside the lives of some of the richest Jewish families and the secrets behind their immense wealth. The Ofer family. The Ofer family is a name that is synonymous with wealth and influence, formerly led by the late Sami Ofer, who was known as the wealthiest individual in Israel. This family has left an indelible mark on the shipping and real estate industries. Sami Ofer, a visionary entrepreneur, built an empire that spanned continents and industries. Unfortunately, Sami Ofer passed away in 2011, leaving behind a legacy of unparalleled success. Sami Ofer was born in the 20th century, growing up in a small town where he found himself drawn to the sea and the allure of ships. His his father's chandlery business became his playground, where he developed a deep passion for all things maritime. As Sammy grew older, his fascination with ships only intensified. He dreamed of owning his own vessel and sailing the open seas. The world was in the midst of World War II, and Sammy, driven by a sense of duty, joined the British Royal Navy. After the war, Sammy's burning desire to own a ship could no longer be contained. With his newfound expertise and a determination that knew no bounds, he acquired his first cargo vessel. In the 1960s, he founded an international maritime operation, laying the foundation for what would become one of the largest privately held shipping fleets in the world. But the Ofer family's journey didn't end with Sammy's passing. His sons, Aiden and Eel Ofer, have continued to build upon their father's success, solidifying their positions as prominent figures in the business world. The Ofer family's success in the shipping industry is nothing short of remarkable. Their company, Ofer Global, has a vast fleet of vessels that traverse the world's oceans, transporting goods and commodities on a massive scale. Their shipping empire has not only contributed to their immense wealth, but has also played a crucial role in the global economy. In addition to their shipping ventures, the Ofer family has made significant strides in the real estate sector. Their investments in prime properties, both in Israel and abroad, have yielded substantial returns, further solidifying their financial standing. Their real estate portfolio includes luxury residential properties, commercial buildings, and prestigious developments, showcasing their keen eye for lucrative opportunities. But the Ofer family's in interests extend beyond business and finance. They are also known for their passion for art. Aidan and Eel Ofer have curated impressive art collections that showcase their appreciation for creativity and culture. Their collections include works by renowned artists, both contemporary and classic, making them patrons of the arts and further enhancing their reputation as tastemakers. Long before the passing of Sami Ofer in June 2011, the family had spent years meticulously planning for a methodical and orderly transition of the business to the next generation. Ayal and his brother Aiden, who also played a significant role in the family's commercial groups, were well prepared to carry the torch and lead independent divisions of the Ofer Global Empire. Today, Ofer Global stands as a testament to the remarkable legacy of the Ofer family. It is a conglomerate that has left an indelible mark on the global business landscape, with a presence that spans industries and continents. The impact of Ofer Global can be felt in the shipping industry where it all began. The company's fleet of vessels continues to navigate the world's oceans transporting goods and connecting nations. Offer Global continues to evolve and adapt to the ever-changing global landscape, guided by the principles that have shaped its success. With each passing year, the company's impact grows, leaving an indelible mark on industries and communities worldwide. The Chuvas family. The world of the Tshuva family, led by the prominent Israeli billionaire entrepreneur Yitzhak Tshuva. Known for his prowess in the real estate industry, Tshuva has built an empire that has left an indelible mark on both Israel and the United States. At the heart of the Tshuva family's success lies their real estate development and holding company, Elad Group. With a keen eye for lucrative investments and a deep understanding of the market, Tshuva has made significant strides in the world of real estate. His company's portfolio boasts a wide range of properties, from residential to commercial spanning across prime locations in Israel and the United States. Chuva's success can be attributed to his ability to identify opportunities and transform them into profitable ventures. His strategic investments in properties have not only generated substantial wealth, but have also contributed to the development and revitalization of various neighborhoods and communities. One of the Chuva family's most notable projects is the development of the iconic Plaza Hotel in New York City. This historic landmark underwent a remarkable transformation under Chuva's guidance. 
guidance, solidifying his reputation as a visionary in the real estate industry. The Plaza Hotel stands as a testament to Chuva's ability to breathe new life into iconic properties, blending luxury and heritage seamlessly. But Chuva's success extends far beyond the Plaza Hotel. His investments in properties across Israel and the United States have reshaped skylines and transformed neighborhoods. From luxury residential towers to commercial complexes, Chuva's real estate ventures have not only generated immense wealth, but have also created employment opportunities and contributed to economic growth. The Chuva family's commitment to excellence and innovation is evident in every project they undertake. Their attention to detail, quality craftsmanship and dedication to creating exceptional spaces have earned them a reputation for excellence in the industry. Beyond their business ventures, the Chuva family is also known for their philanthropic efforts. They have made significant contributions to various charitable causes, supporting initiatives in education, healthcare and community development. Their philanthropic endeavors reflect their commitment to giving back and making a positive impact on society. The Chuva family's journey from humble beginnings to becoming key players in the real estate industry is a testament to their unwavering determination, business acumen, and ability to seize opportunities. Their success story serves as an inspiration to aspiring entrepreneurs and showcases the transformative power of strategic investments in the real estate sector. On the other side of the Chuva family, we have Avraham Chuva, the brother of Yitzhak Chuva, is taking on a new challenge as he negotiates the purchase of a prime property in Netanya. With his extensive experience as a contractor, Avraham Chuva is set to bring his expertise to the construction of hundreds of residential units. Avraham Chuva built a reputation as a skilled and experienced contractor. With a track record of constructing hundreds of residential units in the city, Avraham Chuva has made his mark in small and medium-sized projects. His expertise and attention to detail have earned him a prominent place in the industry. The involvement of the Chuva family brings a level of prestige and credibility to the project. Their reputation for excellence and their track record of successful ventures in the real estate industry will instill confidence in potential buyers and investors. This, in turn, will contribute to the overall success and profitability of the development. The Adelson family. At the helm of this powerful dynasty was Sheldon Adelson, a prominent figure in politics and the casino industry. With a shrewd business acumen and a knack for strategic investments, Adelson has amassed a substantial fortune that has catapulted him to the upper echelons of the world's wealthiest individuals. But it's not just his financial success that sets Adelson apart. His wife, Miriam Adelson, has played an instrumental role in philanthropy, dedicating her time and resources to causes close to her heart. Holding positions on various boards, Miriam has leveraged her influence to make a significant impact in the world of charitable giving. Together, Sheldon and Miriam Adelson have built an empire that spans continents and industries with a net worth reaching billions of dollars. Their wealth has afforded them a lifestyle of opulence and extravagance, but it's their contributions to the political and philanthropic spheres that truly set them apart. In the realm of politics, Sheldon Adelson has been a formidable force, using his wealth and influence to support candidates and causes that align with his beliefs. His financial backing has played a pivotal role in shaping political landscapes, both in Israel and the United States. Miriam Adelson, on the other hand, has focused her efforts on philanthropy, channeling her resources towards initiatives that aim to improve the lives of others. Through her involvement in various boards, she has championed causes ranging from medical research to education, leaving an indelible impact on the communities she serves. In 1993, Miriam's passion for helping those struggling with substance abuse led her to found a substance abuse center and research clinic. Her commitment to finding effective treatments and providing support for individuals battling addiction was unwavering. Seven years later, Miriam and her husband, Sheldon Adelson, opened the Dr. Miriam and Sheldon G. Adelson Research Clinic in Las Vegas, further expanding their efforts to combat drug addiction. Miriam's contributions to the field of drug addiction research have been invaluable. Her work has not only advanced our understanding of addiction, but has also paved the way for more effective treatments and interventions. Today, she continues to make a difference as a guest investigator at Rockefeller University, where she shares her expertise and collaborates with with fellow researchers. Miriam's business ventures also extend to the world of sports. She is the majority owner of the Dallas Mavericks, a professional basketball team, alongside her son-in-law, Patrick Dumont. Under Miriam Adelson's ownership, the Dallas Mavericks have continued to thrive with a focus on excellence and community engagement. Her leadership has brought stability and a fresh perspective to the organization, ensuring its continued success in the highly competitive NBA landscape. This ownership has not only brought success to the team, but has also allowed Miriam to 
make her mark in the male-dominated sports industry. Her involvement in the Mavericks showcases her business acumen and determination to break barriers. The Adelson family's commitment to philanthropy extends beyond financial contributions. They have actively engaged in hands-on philanthropic work, dedicating their time and expertise to make a tangible difference in the lives of those less fortunate. Their philanthropic endeavors have touched countless lives, leaving a lasting legacy of compassion and generosity. In Sheldon Adelson's words, The best thing we can do is help other people that can't help themselves. The Wertheimers. The Wertheimers, the secretive French brothers, hold the reins of power over the legendary fashion empire Chanel. Alain and Gerard Wertheimer have built an empire that spans generations. Their story begins in the vibrant streets of 1920s Paris, a city known for its artistic flair and avant-garde fashion. It was during this time that a wealthy Frenchman named Pierre Wertheimer made a fateful decision that would change the course of fashion history. Pierre, a savvy businessman with a keen eye for opportunity, saw the potential in a struggling designer named Coco Chanel. Chanel. Coco Chanel, a visionary in her own right, had already made a name for herself with her revolutionary designs and bold fashion statements. However, she lacked the financial backing to truly make her mark on the fashion world. Sensing her potential, Pierre Wertheimer stepped in to provide the necessary funding and support. Pierre's investment in Coco Chanel's talent and vision proved to be a game changer. Together they formed Société des Parfums Chanel, a company aimed at selling and producing Chanel beauty products. This partnership allowed Chanel to expand her reach and bring her signature fragrance Chanel No. 5 to a wider audience. Chanel No. 5, a scent that would go on to become a timeless classic, was initially only available to exclusive clientele at Chanel's Paris boutiques. But with the backing of Pierre Wertheimer, the fragrance soon found its way into the hands of more customers. Customers, captivating the world with its unique blend of elegance and allure. The success of Chanel No. 5 was a testament to the vision and business acumen of both Coco Chanel and Pierre Wertheimer. Pierre Wertheimer took full control of the company in 1954. With Pierre at the helm, Chanel continued to flourish, becoming a symbol of timeless elegance and sophistication. In 1996, Alain Wertheimer and his brother Gerard assumed the roles of co-owners of the House of Chanel. Alain took on the position of chairman, overseeing the strategic direction of the company, while Gerard focused on heading the company's watch division from his home in Geneva. Together, the Wertheimer brothers became the driving force behind the over 110-year-old fashion house, steering it through the ever-changing landscape of the industry. Under their leadership, Chanel continued to captivate the world with its innovative designs and timeless elegance. The New York Times once described the brothers as fashion's quietest billionaires, highlighting their preference for discretion and letting the brand and its creations speak for themselves. With a Combined net worth of $96 billion, the Wertheimers lead lives of unparalleled opulence. Their luxurious homes serve as private sanctuaries, reflecting their discerning taste and their desire for the finer things in life. Alan Wertheimer owns a magnificent country house in Connecticut, a sprawling estate that exudes elegance and sophistication. Nestled amidst lush greenery, this retreat offers a tranquil escape from the bustling world of fashion. Gerard Wertheimer, on the other hand, resides in a secluded French-style mansion in the Van Derves region of Geneva, Switzerland. This grand residence showcases his refined taste and provides a haven of luxury and privacy. The Wertheimers also enjoy the splendor of the Swiss Alps, where they own a lavish chalet. This mountain retreat allows them to indulge in the beauty of nature while surrounded by the utmost comfort and luxury. The Rothschilds family. The Rothschild family has remained synonymous with immense wealth and global influence for centuries. It's a well-known fact that the Rothschilds are the puppet masters of the corporate world, with a significant stake in over 80% of the world's largest companies. From tech giants like Facebook to energy conglomerates like Chevron, financial institutions like Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, the Rothschilds have their fingers in every pie. Their control over these corporations gives them unprecedented power to influence and manipulate various sectors, further expanding their wealth and control. But how do they maintain such a tight grip on these companies without their names ever showing up on ownership records? The answer lies in their strategic approach. The Rothschild family empire does the same thing that many other billionaire families do. They control everything but own nothing. They operate through a complex web of shell companies and intermediaries, ensuring that their names never appear on any ownership documents that would require them to reveal the actual stockholders. This allows them to operate in the shadows of company secrecy, exerting their influence without drawing attention to themselves. Their ability to manipulate the global economy for their own benefit is a testament to their immense power. Through their banking establishments, the Rothschilds exert indirect influence over central banks and financial institutions worldwide. They have the power to shape monetary policies, control interest rates, and even influence governments. 
Meyer Amschel Rothschild, the patriarch of the family, implemented strict rules to ensure that their wealth remained within the family. To safeguard their fortune, Meyer devised a system that allowed his daughters and granddaughters to marry only their cousins. This meant that female family members received limited inheritances unless they followed these prescribed pairings. The purpose behind this rule was to prevent the family's wealth from leaving their control and to maintain the Rothschild name as a symbol of power and influence. In our family, we've always tried to keep love in the family. <laughs> in this sense, it was more or less understood since childhood that children would never think of marrying outside the family so that our fortune would never leave it. As a result, many of the Rothschild daughters ended up marrying their cousins, and in some cases, even an uncle. These strategic unions allowed the family to expand their influence and wealth without drawing unnecessary attention. By marrying within the family, the daughters could work behind the scenes, utilizing their intelligence and business acumen to further the Rothschild legacy. Today, the Rothschild dynasty has evolved into a global entity, with their financial interests primarily held within a publicly listed financial holding company, spanning the French and British branches. Their business activities have expanded far beyond traditional banking, encompassing asset management, consulting and diversified investments. The Rothschilds possess an array of assets, including real estate, yachts, art collections and vineyards, although these are likely just a fraction of their overall holdings. Their financial influence endures with investments in major infrastructure projects, such as bridges, tunnels and railways. Their reach extends across various sectors, allowing them to maintain a diverse portfolio and adapt to the changing economic landscape. It's worth noting that the head of the Rothschild empire today, Alexander Rothschild, represents the seventh generation and is committed to preserving the family legacy while also embracing this demonstrates their ability to keep the family's financial endeavors thriving and relevant. The Bookmans. Dmitri and Igor Bookman's journey to success began with their shared passion for gaming and their entrepreneurial spirit. Their company, Playrix, quickly gained recognition for its high-quality games that offered immersive experiences and addictive gameplay. The success of Playrix can be attributed to Dmitri and Igor's commitment to excellence and their ability to tap into the evolving demands of the gaming community. They have consistently delivered games that combine stunning visuals, engaging storylines and innovative gameplay mechanics, captivating players of all ages. As Playrix's popularity soared, so did the wealth of Dimitri and Igor Bookman. Their entrepreneurial vision and the success of their gaming company have propelled them to the upper echelons of Israel's wealthiest individuals. But it's not just their financial success that sets them apart. Dimitri and Igor Bookman's contributions to the gaming industry have earned them recognition and respect from their peers. They have been lauded for their innovation, creativity, and their ability to create games that resonate with players on a global scale. Beyond their achievements in the gaming world, Dimitri and Igor Bookman are also known for their philanthropic endeavors. They have used their wealth and influence to support various charitable causes, making a positive impact on society and giving back to their community. The early years of Playrix were marked by determination and hard work. In 2007, Playrix truly began to make waves in the gaming world. The number of games increased to 16, and the company's monthly income skyrocketed to an astonishing $300,000. But it wasn't just their own company that Dimitri and Igor focused on. In 2018, they made personal investments in Nextus Global, a video and social network games developer, and Belarusian Visor Games, further expanding their influence in the gaming landscape. Their strategic investments allowed them to diversify their portfolio and collaborate with other talented developers, fostering innovation and growth within the industry. The success of Playrix continued to soar, and in 2019, the company made strategic acquisitions, buying the Armenian and Serbian studios Plexonic and Ipix Entertainment, respectively. These acquisitions not only expanded Playrix's reach, but also showcased Dimitri and Igor's commitment to nurturing talent and fostering creativity on a global scale. In addition to entrepreneurial success, Dimitri and Igor launched the Rick's Capital Family Fund in October 2021. With $4 billion of their personal funds under management, the investment company opened a permanent office in London, further expanding their reach and influence in the financial sector. However, the journey to success hasn't been without its challenges. In October 2022, 
Bayrix faced a significant setback when the company announced the closure of its offices and development operations in Russia and Belarus due to the war in Ukraine. Despite this adversity, Dmitry and Igor remained resilient, adapting to the changing landscape and ensuring the continuity of their business. As of 2023, Playrix employed over 3,000 people worldwide, a testament to the brothers' dedication and the company's continued growth. Analytics company Data.i, formerly App Annie, ranked Playrix seventh in the global ranking of mobile publishers by annual revenue, with the company leading the pack in the EMEA region. In April of the same year, Forbes estimated the bookman's assets at a staggering $7 billion, putting them in the list of wealthiest Israelis. The Saban family. The Saban family is under the guidance of Haim Saban, a media mogul and philanthropist, who is also the chairman and CEO of Saban Capital LLC. Born on October 15, 1944, in Alexandria, Egypt, Haim Saban's journey to success is a testament to his passion for entertainment and his entrepreneurial spirit. Growing up in a Jewish family, he developed a deep appreciation for music and the arts from a young age. Saban's career began in the music industry, where he worked as a musician and songwriter. He collaborated with various artists and even composed the theme songs for popular television shows. In 1995, he co-founded Fox Family Worldwide, a joint venture with News Corporation, now 21st Century Fox. In 2001, Saban made headlines with the acquisition of the iconic children's franchise Power Rangers. Under his ownership, the franchise experienced a resurgence in popularity, captivating a new generation of fans. Saban's ability to adapt and evolve with changing audience preferences allowed him to maintain the franchise's relevance and expand its reach globally. In the the same year, Walt Disney Company acquired Fox Family for an astonishing enterprise value of $5.2 billion. This acquisition not only showcased the immense value of Saban's ventures, but also cemented his status as a visionary entrepreneur. Undeterred by this major transition, Haim Saban founded Saban Capital Group, SCG, in the same year. This new venture allowed him to continue his pursuit of groundbreaking opportunities in the media and entertainment industry. Beyond his contributions to the entertainment industry, Saban is also known for for his philanthropic efforts. He has been a staunch supporter of various causes, including education, healthcare, and Jewish organizations. Through the Saban Family Foundation, he has donated millions of dollars to support initiatives that improve the lives of individuals and communities. Saban's cultural contributions and artistic endeavors have earned him recognition and accolades. He has received numerous awards for his contributions to the entertainment industry and his philanthropic efforts. His passion for music, television, and the arts has left an indelible mark on popular culture and has inspired generations of artists and creators. Haim Saban's journey from a musician and songwriter to a media mogul and philanthropist is a testament to his creativity, business acumen, and commitment to making a positive impact. His cultural contributions and artistic endeavors have enriched the lives of millions, and his philanthropy continues to create opportunities for those in need. Haim Saban's business acumen and creative vision propelled Saban Entertainment to great heights, making it a powerhouse in the world of children's programming. The success of Power Rangers and other hit shows brought immense wealth to the Saban family, with Haim Saban himself amassing a staggering net worth of $2.8 billion. But Haim Saban's influence extends far beyond the realm of entertainment. He has made a name for himself in the political arena, using his wealth and connections to shape the course of American politics. Haim Saban is a dedicated contributor to the Democratic Party, and his support for candidates like Hillary Clinton in multiple presidential elections has been unwavering. His financial backing and strategic influence have made him a force to be reckoned with in the political landscape. Saban Capital Group continues to make strategic investments in both early stage and later stage private and public companies. With a portfolio exceeding $20 billion in enterprise value, Saban's influence spans a wide range of industries and sectors, but Saban's impact extends beyond business. His philanthropic efforts through the Saban Family Foundation have touched the lives of many, supporting medical, children's and education programs in the United States and Israel. The Arison Family Finally, I'd love to turn your attention to the Arison family. Their story is one of pioneering spirit, astute investments, and a touch of glamour. The Arison family's roots stretch back to Romania, Israel, and the United States, where they played a significant role in the establishment of the town of Zikron Yaakov in Ottoman Palestine. But it is their business ventures that have truly propelled them to unimaginable wealth. At the helm of the family's success was Ted Arison, a visionary entrepreneur who founded Arison Investments. Through strategic investments and acquisitions, 
transactions, Ted Arison acquired a controlling stake in Bank Hapoalim, the largest bank in Israel. This move alone solidified the Arison family's financial power and influence, but the Arison family's reach extends far beyond the world of finance. They have also made a splash in the world of sports, particularly in the United States. The family is the proud owner of the Miami Heat basketball team, adding a touch of glamour and excitement to their already impressive portfolio. Sherry Arison, daughter of Ted Arison, is one of the wealthiest women in Israel. Her involvement in the family's business ventures and philanthropic efforts has further solidified the Arison family's status as one of the most influential in the country. The Arison family's captivating story begins in the late 19th century, when Moshe and Sarah Arison, Romanian immigrants, made the life-changing decision to leave their homeland and seek a better future in the Ottoman territory of Palestine. In 1882, they embarked on a journey that would shape the destiny of their family for generations to come. Moshe and Sarah Arison's eldest son, Meir Arison, carried on the family legacy and became a prominent figure in the community. However, it was Meir Arison's son, Theodore Arison, who would truly propel the family into the spotlight. In the early 1970s, Ted Arison founded Carnival Cruise Lines, a company that would revolutionize the way people vacationed at sea. With his visionary leadership and unwavering determination, Carnival grew from a single ship to become one of the largest and most successful cruise companies in the world. As Carnival Cruise Lines flourished, so did Ted Arison's wealth. He became one of the richest individuals globally, a testament to his business acumen and relentless pursuit of excellence. In August 2013, the company expanded and developed into a global cruise powerhouse. Carnival's portfolio of leading cruise brands expanded to include Carnival Cruise Lines, Holland America Line, Princess Cruises and Seabourn Cruise Line in North America. In the United Kingdom, P&O Cruises, Cunard Line and Ocean Village became part of the Carnival family. The legacy of the Arison family extends to Ted's children, Mickey Arison and Shari Arison, who have continued to build upon their father's success. Mickey's leadership as the chairman of Carnival Corporation PLC has propelled the company to new heights, making it one of the largest vacation companies in the world. The Arison family's business empire extends far beyond the realm of the cruise industry. Through their various holdings and organizations, they have made a significant impact in multiple sectors, solidifying their position as influential figures in the business world. There are several other families all over the world to show the incredible wealth, success and influence that have been amassed. If you enjoyed this video, click on the ones on your screen to enjoy more.